Hi guys, this is Mans here from Christopher Farm. And as you can see, our spinach is growing in abundance. So what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to harvest the spinach nicely. Remember, spinach is a cut and carry on crop. So we're not going to take all the leaves off all the plants. Um, I'll show you nicely how we do it. Other people might have other ideas, which is also fine. And then I'll take you into the kitchen and show you how we clean it up and preserve it ready for the freezer. Okay, so I'm going to film and Rue is going to cut. So basically we are going to start from, we're going to isolate the plants. Our plants are a little bit close together. <clears throat> so basically we're taking the outside leaves off. So we are going to be left with the inside leaves any little ugly leaves like that you can see it's a bit hard and ugly we don't want to eat it we're going to just put aside in a pile and then after we've harvested all our spinach we are going to go give those to our chickens because nothing goes to waste so okay so once we have finished this is what's left over so me and the two boys are going to do all of these and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so this is what it looks like after a jolly decent haircut. That is, show us here, that is the bear, um, bucket, it's a 25 litre bucket of eating spinach. And this is our basket of, you can see these are the kind of harder bits and the off cuts and the yellowish bits and they will be for the chickens. So next time you see me I'll be showing you how we process it. You'll see if we approach the chicken coop with a bucket or something they generally come running because they know. Okay. Okay, let's go process our spinach. Okay, after a quick lunch break, this is our spinach. <laughs> I'd say that's whoops. I'd say that's a decent amount. So guys, remember spinach cooks down to nothing, but I'd say this is a decent pile of spinach. Now for the rest of the season, we will probably get this amount of spinach every two weeks to a month. But what I don't like is gritty spinach. So what I'm doing is I'm basically chucking it into a sink full of cold water. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm just basically taking bunches of it, don't have to be neat. Make sure we submerge it 100%. And we'll do this in batches. I, leave, I like to leave it to soak for about five minutes. And after that five minutes, I'll come back, I'll drain the water and I'll redo this batch and start processing it while I'm getting my other probably three batches um, done. So I just kind of rotate it around and around and around. Okay, so they've all drained. I've got a chopping board, a knife, and my great big giant pot. Um, I often use this pot for water bath canning. So we're going to just make sure our spinach is nice and done. Now I collect a couple of leaves at a time put them down roll them up like that and just give them a chop 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 and into the pot they go
Okay. Pots on top. And we'll... Ooh. There you go. Pot on top. We're just going to leave that and let it boil. <laughs> and let it boil and come back once I've chopped some more of my spinach. Okay, so our spinach has now been cooking for a bit. And I have been giving it a stir as it's cooking. So in case I missed any little bitties of soil or gritty bits or anything like that so now we are gonna just transfer it to a dish ready to be frozen some of it i will make creamed spinach out of it and some of it i will freeze just like this but I don't know if you can see this color. You do not get beautiful spinach like this that stays this color through cooking unless it is fresh, fresh, fresh. So to give you an idea, um, earlier on I saw you can't see very well how much. Um, I got about four pots this size out of my spinach and we... It only really started growing, gosh, I think about two months ago that it really started kind of taking off. It struggled through winter. And um, this is our second harvest. Our first harvest was probably about half the size two weeks ago. So um, if you're planning on starting with gardening and growing your own, I highly recommend spinach. It's a very rewarding crop, super, super healthy, and you can taste the freshness in it. Okay, what I did forget to mention is that I, after I've taken it off the stove, I drain my spinach in a giant colander, so my last load is just busy draining. And then a good shake off. And there it is so from all of that spinach we have this bowl so what i'm going to do now i'm going to divide i thought i was going to show you how i make my cream spinach but alas i have no cheese so i'm going to split it into a bowl which i'll make cream spinach in when I get some cheese I'm going to shoot out Nana and grab some and the rest of the bowl I will just pack into little freezer meals so thanks for joining us and there is spinach picking to cooked and super easy crop to grow very rewarding high producing and delicious and super healthy for you